Assalamu alaikum guys, I hope you all are fine. I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. So today I'm And today we are going to be covering the topic of gold farming. So let's get started. I'm okay, so uh, now we are back and. Uh, uh, we are going to be discussing in this video uh, four bull farming methods. The number one is incursions, the number two is arena, the number three is uh, side quest, and the number four is even quest. So, uh, arena is probably one of the most easiest. Like, not all milestones of it are, you know, like uh, you don't have to do all of the milestones except, except for some other tries. Some other tries, it has all 10 milestones, they have gold and it is very very low amount so I won't really recommend the monitor but we'll get to that later um, but the rest arena even Pfizer featured arena has like 3 milestones which include gold, the first 3 milestones uh, then we have incursions we're going to be discussing incursions tier 2 and below the reason we're going to be discussing uh, tier 2 and below is because uh, the tier 1 incursion people don't even need gold like they have tons of gold like 30 million 40 million 50 million like they are like overflowing gold like if you have seen if you have seen prof of then uh, he has like a lot of gold if you have ever noticed it if you have ever seen it like it's probably 80 million or 70 million i don't really remember it but it's like a lot and uh, then we have side quest uh, the side quest is uh, a very very easy and fun method to be honest uh, the side quest has like uh, very very different nodes and uh, different opportunity to grab the uh, grab that gold and you know like gold is required like a lot to like max out a uh, five star you need like alone three million gold to just max out a one five star so yeah man like it's just like a lot of gold required and my alliance uh, alliance member of mine was asking to you know uh, how to like uh, grind gold and I told him to do this and then I came up with this idea I said that why not create this video okay so I'm just getting like a bit off topic okay so uh, incursion is probably the most valuable and the most hardest like in my opinion uh, then we have uh, arena which is the most easiest method and I will show you a bit later show you guys a bit later uh, that it has only three mushrooms required then we have uh, uh, side quest which is uh, again very very fun uh, method and there was like we did trial island where you were like easily getting like 7 million to 10 million gold which was amazing like it was just amazing and there are many many good side quests uh, currently coming and the spider ham side quest also awards some good amount of gold not only for low difficulties but for high difficulties it is very very good and this uh, gold farming is for middle tier players like low tier players or below average players uh, I'm a bit above average to be honest like I, that is what I think of myself uh, then we have event quest so event quest uh, have like I have to be uh, so yeah, I just forgot what I was saying uh, e in event quest I would recommend you to do like only the first three difficulties heroic uh, normal heroic and master and it is because uh, that normal heroic master uh, it is basically because uh, those three are very very easy and collected is a bit you know difficult to be honest and master is the word the most you know like uh, important of those uh, of those like gold like master gives a lot of gold like it gives 120,000 gold this month it gave 120,000 to 120, gold this month to all the players and if and I'm talking about full 100 one, full 100 percent exploration not just uh, like yeah, sorry I forgot what I was saying uh, not just like uh, you know like completion uh, so heroic and normal are not really worth it so now uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some other thing is uh, like in first we're gonna move on to incursions so okay so if you just give me some time so now we are here and uh, right now we're gonna be discussing the gold that we can get from incursions incursions is again the most valuable resource to get gold and uh, you know like if you are in tier 2 you can get like monthly 2.05 million gold which is just a lot and tier 3 1.5 million tier 4 uh, tier 4 1.138 million, tier 5 899,000, tier 6 705,000 and tier 7 547,000 gold which is like just a lot for tier 7, tier 7 is basically the uh, players who have just 
begun the game and you know incursion is very very valuable and but it's also a bit difficult and these uh, the goal that i am showing you guys is basically based on uh, if you do like all 10 zones of each sector and every 5 days 6 uh, milestones i think it's 5 days yeah it's 5 days uh, every six every five days you do all those six milestones so as you can see on the screen that i'm showing you guys uh, uh, some gold that you can get from cousins and i'm in tier two and i could only manage the sector seven uh, to kill zone seven and if you take a look at sector five sector five there's also some very very great rewards like i wanted to add another like infographic uh, but you know it's kind of a bit you know unrelated to be honest and uh, i can show you guys it in a bit and i will hopefully <laughs> Um, I'm not really confirmed because uh, after this I'm going to add W2 etc. But okay, like you know, like we just have have to like do all of that where there is gold given. So I think incursion is the most valuable, the, uh, the most uh, valuable like a place to grind gold. Okay, so now uh, let me just show you guys that infographic. So okay, so as you can see on uh, the screen, uh, these are the uh, these are uh, this is the infographic that is updated to sector eight, and you can see that there is a lot of gold given, like for just one completion, like uh, of all, all ten zones, and uh, that those six milestones, uh, which are as you can see on the screen, and this is ba this is from Cat Murder. Uh, he uh, he designed like many infographics, so you know, like you can take your time and take a look at this at the gold here, uh, gold and shards, whatever you wanna take uh, a look at. I uh, so you know, like it's pretty much like a lot of gold that Recursion is giving. So Bob has been really focusing themselves on uh, the gold that they are giving to players. So you know, it's like amazing to see such amount of gold being given, an extensive amount of gold being given to the players. So, like, if you want to take uh, take your time, then you can take the time. I'm just gonna stop speaking now. So now we move towards arena and uh, the goal from arena is basically like a lot and I have just uh, noted out the uh, milestone gold that we are getting from milestones. I have not noted like the my the gold that we get from arena crystal, the, the gold that we get from uh, individual fight, the gold that we get from series wins and the gold earned by Sunday arena if you do it like I just do the first four milestones for those three 1000 four star shards and 30 frame collector crystal shard crystal but uh, like if you want to do it then you can do it but uh, uh, so now uh, let's just get towards arena okay so summoner trials is probably not very very recommended but if you are a very very low uh, tier player like who likes arena and then you can like go for summoner trials but i wouldn't quite recommend that because the gold it is giving monthly is very very low as compared to four star featured and four star basic i wouldn't say that you just go straight for to four star featured because you can't like you have you need to have at least three four stars or at least at least three yeah at least three four stars to like you know at least do one series but it will take very very long like i think it is like 650,000 points in this score to get uh, 38,000 gold once uh, so if there are any players like me who are above average then i would recommend this method for them uh, the four star feature and four star basic one but uh, for middle tier players for like people who are below average like who are level 30 or level 40 uh, actually those are kind of average so players who are average in terms of their roster and their like, progression level I would recommend them doing 3 star feature and 4 star basic arena like it all it gives a good amount of gold like uh, I haven't quite made the calculations for it but I think that it's uh, nearly uh, wait okay so I made the calculations and the gold that you get from 4 star basic and 3 star featured arena monthly is 320,000 if you just do the first 3 milestones because only the first 3 milestones have that much gold in it so uh, like I would really really recommend you guys like scoring uh, uh, 
uh, only uh, like taking down the first few milestones and it also gives you some units and some arena crystals as well so you know like you can you can also spend your units for gold crystals but I wouldn't quite recommend that because that is nothing much more of a full foolish thing to do so uh, now uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, the gold that we are getting from arena milestones so okay so now here I am showing you guys the summoner trials gold so if you can see the summoner trials the first two milestones have 500 gold and the rest have 1200 gold which is like very very less uh, like in reality it is very very less it is like 10,600 gold or something I don't quite remember well and then we uh, then I show you guys the trees I featured I, I don't really remember the game was loading or something or I was like stopped at some point uh, waiting for my future self to uh, finish his presentation okay so as you can see that here we are getting a good deal of gold like here we are getting nearly 20,000 gold uh, I kind of forgot on the calculations that I made earlier so but uh, the purpose of what I'm showing you guys is to just show that only the first three milestones uh, there was a mistake only that was also a mistake <laughs> only the first three milestones have gold in like all arenas except summoner trials uh, but I didn't quite show the five star feature because I didn't include it uh, so yeah and I also showed you guys like the fourth milestone so that you can see that it doesn't have any gold so like don't think that it has gold and I will do it like if you want to like uh, take gold from like series wins or individual fight then I would recommend that unless I won't so yeah man like it is it and yeah so now let's move towards our next presentation which is side quest and event quest so okay just before uh, right after this video finishes then we are going to move towards it okay so let me just finish my recording here So anyway, now we move on to our next method of uh, gold farming, which is side quest and even monthly quest. And uh, like side quest also give you like a lot of gold. Like as you can see that the heroic gives you like uh, uh, how much is it? Fifteen thousand, thirty thousand gold this month, uh, which is spider ham event. So like it. It isn't really like a lot but for epic and the difficulty there uh, is a lot of gold given like I didn't even record it because this is again uh, this guy is for uh, middle tier players uh, so yeah it doesn't quite include epic and legendary and as you can see that master has like 60,000 gold given straight away so you know like that is just amazing completion and exploration so I would really recommend you guys like doing master and heroic of this month and also it's pretty easy like in comparison so yeah and then we move on towards event quest and event quest like normal and heroic doesn't give like too much gold to be honest like it's just black black gold it's just you gold like it's just you amounts of gold it's just so bad uh, but I would really recommend you guys doing master because master has path rewards and you can just you know chase those path rewards and get those uh, gold and but I would say that you you have to fully explore master to get like 120,000 gold each month so uh, yeah like it is kinda like a lot for some middle tier players and master is also very very difficult so I would recommend you guys if you can do master or if you can manage it then you can do uh, like normal and heroic difficulty which are comparatively very very easier so yeah I mean like this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope that I solved some of the problems for gold farming etc and uh, I really hope that you guys like found this video informative uh, by the way like I also like made like uh, like uh, how much time was required uh, like in incursion there is like 12 to 24 hours time required and in heroic there is like uh, um, in heroic uh, sorry what am I saying uh, sorry in incursion in incursion there is like 12 to 24 hours um, are, are required required a month to grind like full amount of gold and uh, in arena it's like 72 hours and each month has like if it has 30 days then it has 720 hours and you can like remove like 48 hours if it's a leap year if it's uh, 28 days February month or if it's a uh, 29th uh, 29 day February month then you can remove 24 hours from it but uh, you know like this still like there are a lot of ways to uh, farm gold and uh, you know like mm, uh, the time required is very very much a lot but uh, you know like it's also worth it kind of like uh, to be honest I don't really need any of these uh, methods I don't really need to follow because I already have 5 million gold not a flex okay so uh, yeah like I would say that once you get to like higher level then you won't really have any problem with gold and ice or just like my just like me like before I had like a lot of problems with gold and ice or like 6 months ago 5 7 months ago but now I'm perfectly fine with it uh, so yeah guys this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching Khuda Hafiz